DNA sequencing has revealed new details about Europe's oldest natural mummy, Ötzi the Iceman. Ötzi the Iceman is one of the most significant archaeological finds of the 20th century. The naturally mummified remains were discovered in September 1991 by a pair of German hikers in the Ötzl Alps on the border between Austria and Italy, the location lending itself to his name. He was found partially buried in the ice of a glacier. Ötzi is estimated to have lived around 3300 BC during the Copper Age or Chalcolithic period. The body was remarkably well preserved due to being encased in ice for thousands of years which helped protect it from decomposition. Ötzi was about 5 feet 5 inches, 160 centimetres tall and around 46 years old when he died. He had various tattoos on his body, likely created for ritualistic therapeutic purposes, as they were placed over areas with evidence of arthritis. He was found with an impressive array of well-preserved artefacts, including clothing made from animal skins and plant fibres, a grass cape, a leather belt with a pouch, a copper-bladed axe, a bow and arrows, and more. These artefacts provided insights into his daily life, activities and the technology of the time. Ötzi's cause of death was initially thought to be exposure to the elements or a fall, but subsequent examinations revealed an arrowhead lodged in his left shoulder, suggesting a violent end. The discovery led to extensive scientific research and analysis. Experts examined his DNA, isotopes in his teeth and various aspects of his remains to learn about his ancestry, health conditions, diet and where he may have lived. Researchers used advanced technology to analyse Ötzi's genome to obtain a more accurate picture of the Iceman's appearance and genetic origins. This led to his genome being decoded for the first time more than a decade ago. This was also the first time the genome of a mummy had been sequenced. The results provided important insights into the genetic makeup of prehistoric Europeans. Recent advances in sequencing technology have now enabled a research team from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology and URAC Research to reconstruct Ötzi's genome more accurately. The results of this recent analysis refine the Iceman's genetic picture, and while the Iceman did indeed cometh, it is unlikely that he needed to cometh, as he was most likely bald, and the revelations did not end there. Compared to other contemporary Europeans, Ötzi's genome has an unusually high proportion of genes in common with those of early farmers from Anatolia. And, contrary to previous findings, at the time of his death, Ötzi had advanced hair loss, and as mentioned, may have even been bald. Furthermore, his skin had a darker appearance than previously thought. Ertzi's genes also revealed a predisposition to diabetes and obesity. The report, which was published in the journal Nature, read, Unlike previous analyses performed on the previous Iceman genome, we found no evidence for the presence of step-related ancestry in the high coverage one. Instead, his genome is best modelled as a genetic mixture between European hunter-gatherer-related ancestry and early Neolithic farmer-related ancestry. The absence of steppe-related ancestry is consistent with the dating of this individual preceding the arrival of steppe-related ancestry in Central and Southern Europe. We found that the Iceman, together with the contemporary Italy Broyon CASG, located to the south of the Alps, carries the largest proportion of early Neolithic farmer-related ancestry among all contemporaneous European individuals analysed so far, suggesting that these individuals were relatively isolated from other European individuals who were more genetically admixed with ancient European hunter-gatherers. The remote location of alpine valleys might contribute to such an isolation. We did, however, not find lower levels of genetic diversity in the Iceman genome compared with other early European farmers represented by LBK farmers in Germany with no signs of inbreeding. Altogether, these observations add nuance to our understanding of the mixture processes underlying the rise of the European hunter-gatherer-related ancestry throughout Europe during the 5th and 4th millennium BCE. While the general trend of rising European hunter-gatherer-related ancestry has been described throughout Europe, the presence of individuals with low European hunter-gatherer-related ancestry south of and within the eastern Italian Alps suggests regional heterogeneity in late Neolithic Europe. The high-coverage genome yielded further novel insights into the possible phenotypic traits of the Iceman, especially for complex traits regulated by multiple SMPs in the genome.
We found that SMPs associated with an agricultural diet were present in the Iceman genome, two of which were assigned to local ancestry tracts of farmer origin, in line with the estimated high early Neolithic farmer ancestry. Our estimation of skin pigmentation for the Iceman, based on over a 100 regulatory SMPs related to that trait, suggests that he displayed rather dark skin, also displayed by the actual mummy. While this was discussed as a result of the mummification process itself, our findings indicate a relatively dark skin complexion during his lifetime. Additional support for this assumption comes from a previous histological analysis of the Iceman's skin, where a small layer of brown melanin granules had been identified in the stratum basale of the epidermis. The appearance of the baldness-related allele in the high-coverage Iceman genome may be related to the fact that almost no human hair was found with the otherwise well-preserved mummy. Similar approaches like polygenic risk score and heritability calculation on the other ancient high-coverage genomes might allow a more accurate reconstruction of complex phenotypic appearance, such as skin pigmentation of ancient human individuals. The study was not without readily acknowledged limitations, however. Chief among these was the limited sample size of the one individual. The paper read, This study produced a high-coverage genome for the Tyrolean Iceman that enabled the detection of high Anatolian farmer-related genetic ancestry in his genome. A single individual has, however, limited resolution in representing the population history of his time and region. But it added, nevertheless, another individual from Broyon, Italy, bordering the Southern Alps, presents similarly high Anatolian farmer-related ancestry, supporting the observation for the Iceman genome. Future studies with a denser sampling from the Southern Alps will be needed to replicate our findings and show if the Iceman was an outlier or a representative of his population. Moreover, this study makes exploratory analyses on cross-comparing genetic predicting scores of phenotypes based on high-coverage ancient genomes. For instance, we estimate the possible phenotypes based on the presence of phenotype-related alleles and the prediction on skin pigmentation based on polygenetic risk scores. We caution that the actual phenotype is a combined effect from genetic mechanism and environment exposures through gene-by-environment interaction and multiple SMPs could be responsible for the heritability of complex traits like male pattern baldness and skin pigmentation. Here, direct observation of the actual mummy allows us, however, to validate some of the findings, such as pigmentation and baldness corroborating the genetic prediction based on the genomic data. However, genomic data from ancient mummies is rather exceptional. In most ancient DNA studies, the predictive accuracy of ancient polygenetic scores for complex traits should be interpreted carefully, together with various confounding factors such as allelic turnover or population stratification. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.